Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the newest version of the Kodi app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The process itself is going to be super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get the Kodi app to your device. First of all, we'll have to get an app, Code Unloader, which you can actually get for free from the official Amazon App Store. So to do that, we'll go to search on your device by clicking on that search bar. And here we got to start entering the loader in the search. So we are doing it. And as you can see, the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on the loader and here you see the app, which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We'll still need to set it up. So, in order to set up the loader, we'll go to settings by clicking on that gear icon, which you can see on your screen right now. Then you'll need to scroll down until you see My Far TV. Open it, and here we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Far Sticks, and especially on the new Far Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, and you are not able to find the developer options on your device, no need to worry, it's actually super easy to make them appear. We just need to go to About, open it, then you need to select Fire TV Stick right here, and click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and we'll need to do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom, for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to turn on the 8 bit debugging, then go to install unknown apps, open, and from here we'll need to locate or find the downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're planning on doing right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, we open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. We got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, just connect to any server, let's say we will connect to United Kingdom right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for NordVPN. Now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go to the list of apps on your device, open up the loader, and of course, wait until the app opens for you. There, on the left side menu, make sure to click on home and not on browser. That's really important. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home, and then here, in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be Cody.tv. So yep, that's pretty simple, just enter Cody.tv. 
TV. Once again, you can see the whole link on your screen right now, so make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake, then the link is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about flower sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, when the website has opened, you just need to click on that sandwich button right here. So let's click on it. From here, go to the download page. So we click on download right here. Now a new web page has opened and we gotta keep scrolling down until we find the Android logo right here. So it doesn't matter if you're using a Fire Stick, Android TV or Google Chromecast, all those devices are Android based. So that's the reason why we are using the Android version of the app. Now let's click on Android and wait until a new web page opens for you. After that you have to scroll down and here you'll find the Downloads tab. So for the Fire Sticks, I recommend using the RV7A version or the 32-bit version of the app. So that's what I recommend using for Fire Sticks. It should work pretty much on any Fire TV device. Now we'll click on it and in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Usually that doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Even though I have a VPN connected, it still works super fast for me, since I'm using NordVPN. Then we have to click on install and wait until Kodi gets installed to your Fire Stick or your Android TV, of course. And now don't click on open yet. Instead, press on done because here we'll have an option to delete the installation files as we don't need them anymore on our device. So we click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary installation files from your Fire Stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't really have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Now, let's go to the list of apps on your device, open it up, scroll down to the very bottom, and here you'll find Kodi, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Kodi app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.